invited to go to Color Factory Co's new exhibit. I think it's called Spring in Bloom or something like that. I'm really excited. I love Color Factory Co. I've taken like so many people. We went with Erica that one time. I've taken my sister. I've ta I went, I go a lot basically. Like it's a thing I think is kind of fun to take uh, people who are visiting to. And if you're just like into art in general, it's like a fun thing. It'd be great for kids too, I think. Probably actually more geared towards kids. My outfit of the evening, I wore my Jess Patterns Veronica vest and of course my Persephone pants designed by Anna Allen Patterns. For both of these, I think this will be a cute outfit to wear. The exhibit tonight. about the restaurant was how seriously they took the food like they were it was a tweezering things on kind of restaurant searching for the best piece of basil to use as the topping on stuff because we had this full view of the kitchen it was just really cool to witness like other people's genius other people's passion i love that sort of thing we're back okay so while we were out we made a couple stops because I finally saw in the window of Trader Joe's something that my gardening friends have told me existed or I've seen, but I didn't, I've never been able to see one for myself because I don't have a Trader Joe's close to me. Hellebore plant. Hellebores are super expensive when you buy them literally anywhere else. Like this is a huge plant and a small one, just a little teeny one costs like 25 to 30 dollars they're quite a pricey plant and tj or tj max um trader joe's had this huge plant for 12 dollars it's amazing so i can't wait to plant this in my garden because they come back they're perennial so i'm very excited about that so i got those hellebores and look how pretty those little flowers are they're so happy and then there was a cvs nearby and so i couldn't resist because makeup I know I have no self-control but there are two things I've been wanting to get and one of them is the NYX nude beige lip pencil I currently have a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk one which is more pink this one is more of like a brownie shade so I'm excited to try that out and then the elf halo glow liquid filter the shades were all quite different from my own skin tone, just holding them up. This one looked the closest, so we'll see. I'll test these out with you, though, sometime in this video, and we can see what we think. But apparently, it is a total dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury product, and TikTok loves the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, so I'm excited to 
try this out. So we'll see you sometime during this video. Hopefully I'll let you know what I think. Um, but yeah, those are my little purchases while we were out and about. Dinner was delicious. Um, I'm going to get ready to go, like, take off my makeup and stuff and maybe do, like, a little, uh, like, facial steamer or something like that. We'll see. But, yeah. What is happening? Look at them. The audacity of being so cute. Hello, everybody. It is the next day. I've been working all day, so nothing unusual or interesting to report so far. But now I am headed to a Pilates studio that's in my neighborhood. Typically for the past few years, I've been doing workouts solo. So I do my walks in the park and then I have a paid for app that I use to do Pilates at home. But I used to love group classes, loved it. Um, so now because there's this Pilates studio in my neighborhood, I walk past it often enough. And I've been curious for a while now because it's a tiny studio. It's like three reformer beds in this Pilates studio. It's really small. And so I looked it up online and they do classes and they set me up to do a class with somebody else um, who's like at my same skill level, which I would consider pretty beginner, especially for a reformer. I've used a reformer once in my life and it did not go well. So yeah, I'm going to this Pilates, Pilates studio for my first class in a studio since like way before the pandemic so yeah i'm really excited i don't think i'll like film anything in there because it's not just me it's somebody else so don't want to invade anyone's privacy but i thought i would tell you and i will report back once it's done to let you know how it went hello so i am back from the class it was really great there was a lot more arms than I was really wanting if I'm being honest I just really I really love working out my legs my abs my glutes with my arms I'm just like oh it's so tiring probably like a lot of women I assume but yeah it was really good it was kind of an interesting experience trying to wrap my head around exercises that I know how to do for mat pilates but then doing them on the reformer I'll put in a picture of the reformer so you can see what I'm talking about if you're not familiar but the machine was like really interesting to like wrap my head around that but I really enjoyed it so I think I'll definitely be going back it was fun I miss the class environment but it's like not really a class environment because there's not so many people it's just me and one other person which was really nice because we could get a lot of like individual instruction to make sure that we're doing the exercises correctly to like you know help our form make sure we're not hurting ourselves so yeah i really really liked it i'll definitely go back but let's go chat in the sewing room okay so so many of you are telling me that you think i should line the coat which is making me rethink that a little bit um I have no doubts that I'm going to be able to get it on easily. It's two and a half sizes bigger than my actual size. So I don't think I'm going to have any trouble like getting it on over clothing. But one of you did tell me you think like you, you don't like unlined coats because they stick to your clothes a lot. And that part I can see. So that's something that's kind of making me think twice. And then also, um, I don't know how much this fabric sheds or not. So like if I put this coat, unlined coat on over um, like a white outfit, say, am I going to get like black shedding all over the outfit? I don't know. You know, I'm not sure how this fabric is going to behave. I could always line it later, like start out with an unlined coat and then line it later. So I don't know. But that kind of like indecision is kind of keeping me from starting. Not that it really should because I can go ahead and get started. And then if I decide I want lining, I can cut out a lining because um, there's plenty I can do before I get to like the lining parts of the coat anyway. But yeah, I'm just thinking out loud about that, you guys are. So I don't always go my own way. Uh, most of the time I go my own way, let's be honest. If I really want something, I'm gonna do it the way I wanna do it. But um, definitely if there's good points brought up, it makes me think twice. And so that's what, that's where I am right now with the coat. So I'm a little stuck on what I wanna do with it. What do you think, Frank? Do you have opinions?
impressed with this. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's amazing. I'll leave all of the products I used linked down below in case you are in the market for anything new at the moment. Just a little more blush because because I'm me. But yeah, I am loving the makeup lineup lately. I've discovered a lot of new products. I'm always buying new makeup products to try just because, like I said, I love makeup, fashion, and beauty. So um, I'm gonna get to work now. It's time for me to start my work day. I will check in with you guys later on. Friday night in New York City and fun times somebody who's in my pattern making course reached out to me and said they were going to be in New York for the weekend and asked if I wanted to meet up to get a drink so I am headed to meet her now we're in uh, Chelsea we're meeting up at a place called Jungle Bird which is a cocktail bar that she found that looked cool so that's where I'm going right now Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. It's a fresh new day. I have been a busy bee this morning. I um, got up did a big like house blitz clean of the house, just a tidy and a vacuum. And now I want Frida. I don't know if you can hear her, but she is like doing something. I want to start sewing for the weekend. So as you guys know, in my last video, I cut out my coat project. I'm very excited. I don't know, aligning is something I can always add later. It's not crucial to do it right now. Um, so we'll see. I may just like go forward with it cut out as it is, but I'm still thinking about it. I've got out my projector and I brought out some sewing supplies because I was thinking about sewing a robe really quick before I start the coat. I bought this beautiful fabric in Tennessee. It's so buttery soft, so soft. And there have been so many instances in the past few weeks where I'm like, man, I wish I had a robe right now. Like, oh, I'd love to be wearing a robe right now. It's just cozy, comfortable. Um, so I really want to make one. This is something that I really want. And I think it'll be a quick and easy project. In all honesty, I think I could finish it today uh, and start on the coat afterwards even. The only thing is I don't really have a pattern for one. So I found a free pattern on Mood. I think it's called the Fleur Robe. I'm not sure. I'll put everything in the description box. I'll even see if I can find this fabric on Joann's. If not, I'll leave something similar that I can find in the description box for you. Um, but yeah, I think I could finish this in a day with this free pattern that I got from Mood. So I'm gonna use my projector to project the pattern to the table. By the way, you may notice I have a new projector. I'm not sure if I've shown this on my YouTube channel just yet. I bought this used on eBay. I'll put the model that I bought in the description box. It's a short throw projector. I did have a mini projector, which I would honestly be more, I would prefer to use a mini projector, but unfortunately this is my cutting surface. This is the only space I have to work with in the apartment. And as you can see, we have this light fixture right here because this is our dining room table. If I fixed a mini projector to the ceiling to project it to the table, this would get in the way of the projection. So this is just not possible. Um, so I bought a short throw projector, even though they're clunky and enormous. I wanna say I bought this used on eBay and it was like 
$80 range. So if it's something you want to look into, uh, you could do that. There's also a Facebook group called Projector Sewing or PDF Projector Sewing. I don't know, something like that. I'll leave it again. I'll leave it in the description box so you can find it if you want. So it gives you lots of information about how to sew with a projector and how to calibrate them and such. So yeah, I'm going to project my pattern to the table. All right, let's get started. It took me a second because I had to figure out where I could place it, but I've discovered if I load it on some books, really if my table is turned this way, it would be perfect up there, but because it's long ways this way, um, I can't do that. So I put it on some books and then I've calibrated it right here, which means I'm gonna have to calibrate it every single time that I do this. But you know what, honestly, for me, it's better than having to like send it off to print and wait for the prints and then go pick up the prints, etc. So this is honestly faster than that, so I'll take it. I'm really enjoying projector sewing so far. And I was able to get it on the pattern piece on here the whole way through. Technically, you're not supposed to cut pattern pieces on the fold when you use a projector because the projection will like slant and bend over anything you put on it. So when you fold fabric, it will like bend over the fold. It's not super accurate. So if you need to do something that's really, really accurate, definitely would not recommend cutting pattern pieces on the fold with a projector. But since this is just a robe and it's meant to be like oversized and cozy and comfy, I'm not that concerned about it. So I'm just gonna cut it on the fold. left out of the cutting room. Okay, all finished cutting out. I'm gonna take this over to the craft room. The fabric shed a lot while I was cutting it, so I had to get out the vacuum so I could vacuum up all the little bits of fuzzy bits and pieces. just started sewing my robe but I was getting a little hungry so I decided to order some food. I ordered Henry's Vietnamese. It's one of my favorites. I got myself a bubble tea and then I got they have this really delicious vermicelli salad so it has like noodles and lettuce um, like fried scallions, carrots, cucumbers and this really good dressing that goes with it. It's just really good. One of my favorites. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then get back to the robe. the robe just took a couple hours and it was done it was a nice very easy meditative project if you it is so soft it's like a dreamy cloud um, I really regret there was a black version of this fabric it was exactly the same um, but black and I really regret not getting it to make one for Andrew. He claims he's not a robe person, whatever that means. Um, but I think like once he sees it, tries it on and feels this, that he'll want one for himself. So yeah, I uh, made the sleeves a little bit shorter than what it called for because I really don't like my sleeves like dipping into things like when I'm eating breakfast or pouring coffee. So I made them like a little bit shorter than the pattern calls for. Um, but yeah, I think it's a perfect robe, exactly what I wanted. Hello everyone, it is later in the evening. Andrew is home now, crafting, painting, and I'm going to start my trench coat project. I'm really excited. I just downloaded the instructions. Again, the pattern is the Isla Trench by Named Clothing, and I'm getting ready to get started. Stop it!
stop it's been mostly pattern prep over here interfacing things all night long which has taken an eternity but i think i have everything interface that needs to be interfaced so tomorrow i can really get started with sewing with a force i'm still very glad that i spent most of my day making this robe because now I have a cozy snuggly robe and uh, I know I'm gonna get lots of use out of this so I will work on my coat tomorrow for now are we gonna watch any more of that show we started a new show on Hulu it's an FX show technically called Shogun and it's I like it so far I think it's pretty good yeah so I will bid you good night for now but I will see you in the morning Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. Andrew is whipping us up a five-star breakfast this morning. He's making waffles, some sort of like mushroom leek um, bacon topping to put on top of it, poached eggs. It is looking really good. I am a lucky lady. What are we doing today? Crafting. Crafting. Probably shopping for our groceries also at some point but yeah lots of crafting i'm going to be making my coat we'll do some meal planning it's going to be a lovely cozy at home day all right about an hour and a half later and I have completed a very big milestone, and that is my welt pockets. And this was quite difficult to do um, since I'm using wool because there's a lot of thickness here. And you can tell because my top stitching is really, like, not the best. I even unpicked that and tried to do it again. I may at some point, honestly, take this out again and just do it by hand and see if I can do it by hand better. One welt pocket always turns out better than the other. This one looks pretty good, I think, but this one's got some pulling on the top. But honestly, when it's on, I feel like these things are just nitpicky in that, like, you can't really tell when it's on and in motion. So yeah, I'm still pretty pleased with how this turned out. The one thing I will say about this pattern that I don't like I should have cut the pockets bigger. Like, what is this pocket? It's it's so small, like so small. I don't even know, like, I'm sure it will hold my phone, but not much else. So that's kind of annoying. I should have cut them bigger. Anyway, I've moved on now. I'm sewing the center back seam of the coat and just moving right along. It is about five o'clock, so Andrew and I are gonna go out and get some dinner, and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. We just put together our meal plan. I did wanna show you my outfit of the evening. I'm wearing my Simplicity coat, my ice cream coat as I call it. This is made with Mood Fabrics camel wool coating, and this pink is from a Canadian fabric store. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. This is like a cute little, knitted vest that I thrifted in Copenhagen. I really like it and I'm wearing it on top of a black Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top with some jeans and boots. a bit of a wait right now so we're walking around Red Hook which is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Brooklyn it's just that it's kind of difficult to get to by public transportation they have really cute restaurants good bars cute little shopping things so we're just gonna take a little walk around and see what we see Hot dog.
about that one because I like the collar detail, so I feel like I could apply oh, no. that to something. This is cool. Yeah, I like this. It's an unlined coat too, which is kind of rare to find. Um, and I thought this was a really neat jacket, like in a denim or a fleece Weird. even, yeah. it would be kind of cool. The wait at the other place that we were going to go to is like two hours, two and a half hours or something like that right now because they have a lot of reservations today. So we came to another restaurant in the area called Bar Mario. I'm excited to try it. Also fun times. I know I'm wearing my coat and everything so it looks like it's like super cold but tonight is the first nice night that we've been able to like eat outside which is really exciting. So Andrew's just parking the car and he'll be meeting me shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. You can always subscribe if you want to see more content from me. In upcoming videos, I can assure you there's going to be lots more gardening content because the weather is starting to warm up. It's very rainy today and it has been a lot lately, but it's starting to warm up. And I have some exciting floral deliveries on the way for my garden, which I'm sure I'll be sharing with you soon. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.